The team is prepping to take the engine out of this yellow 1957 Chevy for the very last time. Hey, we're here in Mooresville, North Carolina at Cognazzi Racing. We have a very special project we're working on and a very special car, Project X. Project X. Project X. Project X. Project X. Project X, Project X was hot when I was a kid. Yeah, <laughs> believe that? <laughs> That's going way back. Project X was originally purchased by Popular Hot Rodding Magazine in 1965 for a whopping 250 bucks with the intention of it being a project car to test out new technology and performance parts. Well before the internet, fans would write letters to the editors and ask them to try out all sorts of new stuff. Everything from a new carburetor to full engine swaps, nothing was really off limits. After those initial letters were sent, these new changes would be published in the magazine for fans to read. It's been on dozens of covers, it's had dozens of different powertrains, several different transmissions, it's continued to change and it's had multiple different looks, and it's even been the star of a Hollywood movie. For decades, Project X has always been on the forefront of what's new and what's possible, and that's why, for the first time ever, it's dropping its internal combustion engine for an all-new electric power plant. Hey, Vic. S Steve Rupp. Hey. Uh, I've, I've been waiting for you, buddy. You didn't lock up and hide from me. That's, <laughs> no, that's good, good news. <laughs> hey, um, I heard we have a really special car showed up here the other day. Yesterday, in fact. Yeah. In fact, I've been standing over it since then. 57 Chevy yes. called Project X, yep. kind of yellow. The most famous 57 Chevy there ever was. This is no doubt about that. Um, we're working on a project with Chevrolet Performance yep. for the upcoming SEMA show in like 30 something days. Yep, don't remind me. Don't remind me. <laughs> hey, I'm sure for a shop like you, this won't be any problem at all. Uh, but what are we doing? I mean, actually we're probably doing the most uh, intense conversion that this car has ever had. I mean, we're converting it to an electric vehicle, you know, utilizing Chevrolet's E-Crate Performance Kit and uh, really gonna bring it up to the modern times. I mean, it's, we're excited about it. I think it's gonna be something that's really gonna be intense. Project S, from my perspective, is if you could have the kid in the candy store type of thing, that's really where it fits in for me. It's, it's a car I've been reading about my whole life, and I was just overwhelmed with the fact that we were gonna actually get to be touching it and being part of that legacy. We've been a partner of General Motors for about 15 years now on the racing side. And they were telling us about what they were kind of be working on for SEMA this year. And, and actually, once they described it, we told them that it was something we really wanted to get involved in. And, and I'm happy that they chose us to be part of this project. Well, the project is important because if it represents a new evolution for hot rodding in general. I mean, hot rodding has been built around innovation. It's built around creativity. It's been built around all the things that really helped someone put their mark on the vehicle that they're working on. But what's been missing out of it is it's been internal combustion engines the whole time. Things are changing, right? Just like it changed from a flathead to an overhead valve to an overhead cam, things are changing. And electrification and electric vehicle is really the next step in it in this process. And I mean, it really just means more performance. I think that's what people have to grasp. At the end of the day, the electric motors are instant torque, instant horsepower. You don't have that gradual torque curve that you would have and the gradual increase in horsepower that you have in internal combustion. The second you step on the throttle, you have 100% of the torque, 100% of the power. And I think once the hot rodders in the racing community get, get an understanding of what that feels like in the car, I think it's gonna be an evolution from their perspective and, and it's gonna be something that's gonna be highly adopted. We're here with Prashant from Chevrolet Performance, and he's gonna kind of walk us through the basic parts here. Uh, there's more than this that's involved, but not a lot more, really. I mean, well, there's a battery system, and then, you know, some cooling pumps and some different things, but um, this is kind of the heart of the, of the new E-Crate uh, that we're gonna be putting into Project X. So exactly. why don't you walk us through what we got here? This motor in production world for GM, in a future application, is really designed for a rear axle with two half shafts. But we're going to modify that a little bit for the project tax, right. just to just to spice so up the things a little bit. Yeah, so, so basically, this is replacing the engine and the transmission that's currently that's, in the X right now. Exactly. Yeah. So, so one of these half shafts will drive your uh, prop shaft or the the drive shaft, mm -hmm. and you keep your conventional drive frame. Yeah. Do I want to talk about the traditionalists at all? Uh, they're going to hate it. I know they are, but how do we how do we soften that blow? We don't. 
When I think about what the hot rodding community in general is going to think about this, I think there's going to be skeptics out there. There's going to be people that are going to think, really, why are you touching me, the most iconic car in the world? Why are you touching something that really represents the, the, the beginning of hot rodding, right? Something that represents all the things that make hot rodding unique. At the end of the day, if we look at all the changes that have gone over the car over the years, there's probably been skeptics every step of the way, right? There are people that, you know, certainly didn't want power adders, right? Carburetors were the way to go. Then we had superchargers, then we had turbochargers. So things evolve. Electrification is part of that evolution. And, you know, I think if they take the time to really understand it, look at the performance advantages of it, I think that hopefully they're going to come along board and really be something excited about. Um, you would think we're almost done. Uh, the engine's out, the old fuel tank's out, exhaust is out, all those other parts. There's a big pile of stuff over there. So we got a lot of work to do. Um, getting the old parts out is the easy part. Getting the new parts in is going to be the challenge. But follow along on Motor Train and Hot Rod, and we'll show you how it's done and how you can electrify a classic Chevy.